Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Grand mal seizure. Introduction. A grand mal seizure affects a person's whole body. It causes your muscles to become stiff and rigid before they tighten up and jerk uncontrollably. A grand mal seizure may last for a few seconds or minutes. A grand mal seizure is caused by electrical problems in the brain. Many people who have a grand mal seizure will never have another one. But some people may need to take anti-seizure medications every day to prevent seizures. This program explains grand mal seizures. It covers symptoms and causes of the condition, as well as treatment options. Grand mal seizure The brain is the control center of the body. The brain sends directions on how to move and function to the muscles and other body parts through the nerves. Certain areas of the brain control specific areas of the body. Some areas control vision. Other areas control functions such as memory, movement, and sensation. Neurons, or nerve cells, send electrical and chemical signals to each other. This process is needed for the brain to feel, think, and give orders to muscles. Seizures happen because of abnormal electrical activity in the brain. The symptoms of a seizure depend on the area of the brain that is affected. The seizures happen when clusters of nerve cells in the brain send the wrong signals. A grand mal seizure is a type of seizure that affects the entire brain. Grand mal is French for big illness. A grand mal seizure may be triggered by health problems such as severely low blood sugar or a stroke, but most of the time grand mal seizures are caused by epilepsy. Epilepsy is a brain disorder that causes people to have seizures. Grand mal seizures may happen to people of any age. They may happen once in your lifetime or they may happen repeatedly. Symptoms A grand mal seizure is also known as a tonic-clonic seizure. There are two stages of a grand mal seizure. The tonic phase. The clonic phase. The tonic phase lasts about 10 to 20 seconds. During the tonic phase, you lose consciousness, lose control of your muscles. The muscles suddenly contract, becoming stiff and rigid. This causes you to fall down. The clonic phase usually lasts for less than two minutes. The muscles jerk uncontrollably during the clonic phase. They flex and relax repeatedly. Certain signs and symptoms of grand mal seizures happen in some but not all people. Some people experience a warning feeling or aura before a grand mal seizure. An aura may include dizziness, hallucinations, numbness, vision, taste, smell, or sensory changes. Some people may scream or cry out at the start of a seizure. This is because the muscles around the vocal cords contract and force air out. Other symptoms that may happen during a grand mal seizure include biting the cheek or tongue, blue skin color, breathing problems, clenched jaw or teeth, some people having grand mal seizures may lose control of their bladder or bowels. This can happen during or after the seizure. After a grand mal seizure, you may feel confused or tired, have a severe headache. A grand mal seizure may also cause memory loss of the events that happened right before or during the seizure, weakness on one side of your body for a few minutes or a few hours. Contact emergency medical help if you see someone having a seizure. Gently roll the person onto one side and put something soft under their head. To help someone having a grand mal seizure, loosen any tight neckwear. Look for a medical alert bracelet. Keep track of how long the seizure lasts. Do not try to restrain a person who is having a seizure. Do not put anything in their mouth. 
Objects placed in a person's mouth could be bitten or inhaled during a seizure. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Causes Grand mal seizures happen because of abnormal electrical activity in the brain. The exact cause of the electrical changes is unknown in about half of all cases. Grand mal seizures may be caused by underlying health problems. These include brain tumors, strokes, traumatic head injuries, using or withdrawing from drugs or alcohol. Other causes of grand mal seizures include genetic syndromes, infections such as encephalitis or meningitis, lack of oxygen, problems with blood vessels in the brain. Grand mal seizures may be caused by low levels of certain substances in your blood. These include calcium, glucose or sugar, magnesium, sodium. People with certain risk factors are more likely than others to have a grand mal seizure. Having one or more risk factors does not mean that a person will have a seizure. It is also possible to develop the condition without any risk factors. Risk factors for grand mal seizures include alcohol or drug abuse, family history of conditions that cause seizures, medical conditions that affect your body's electrolyte balance, regular lack of sleep, any injury to the brain increases your risk of a grand mal seizure. Injuries may be caused by previous infections, stroke, trauma, complications. Certain activities may be dangerous if you have a seizure while you are doing them. If you have had a seizure, take showers instead of baths to prevent drowning. If you go swimming, wear a life preserver. Don't go swimming alone. Having a seizure while driving a car or other equipment is dangerous. Most places have driving restrictions for people with a history of seizures. The force of a seizure or falling during a seizure can cause injury. Types of injuries that can happen include bone fractures, head injuries, joint dislocations. Repeated short seizures can lead to brain changes. They can cause a normal brain to become epileptic. This is known as kindling. The longer a seizure lasts, the more likely it is to cause permanent changes in your brain's function and structure. Diagnosis Your healthcare provider will perform a physical exam. He or she will ask you questions about your personal and family medical history. Your healthcare provider will ask for a detailed description of your seizure. People who have grand mal seizures lose consciousness and do not remember their seizures. The description of your seizure needs to come from a person who saw it. Your healthcare provider will perform a neurological exam. This exam tests your coordination, balance, and posture, muscle strength and tone, reflexes, senses. Your healthcare provider will also ask questions to test your thinking, judgment, and memory. Blood tests may be done to check for health problems that could cause or trigger seizures. Certain tests may be done to check for brain problems. These tests may include electroencephalogram, or EEG, magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, treatment. Not everyone who has a seizure will have another one during their life. Your healthcare provider may decide to not start treatment until you've had more than one seizure. Anti seizure medications are used to control seizures. There are many different medications available. Take your anti seizure medications as instructed by your healthcare provider. Always talk to your healthcare provider before you take other prescription medications, over the counter drugs, Herbal remedies. Never stop taking medications without talking to your healthcare provider. Surgery may be needed if medications do not control your seizures. Different types of surgeries are available. Wear a medical bracelet if you have a seizure disorder. 
The bracelet should tell emergency medical providers who to contact in an emergency, what medications you use, what drugs you are allergic to. Seizures can affect your life even after they're under control. You may be frustrated by living with the constant threat of another seizure. Talking with a therapist or other people who have had grand mal seizures may help. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary A grand mal seizure affects a person's whole body. It causes your muscles to become stiff and rigid before they tighten up and jerk uncontrollably. A grand mal seizure may last for a few seconds or minutes. The tonic phase is the first stage of a grand mal seizure. It lasts about 10 to 20 seconds. During the tonic phase, you lose consciousness, lose control of your muscles. The muscles suddenly contract, becoming stiff and rigid. This causes you to fall down. The second stage of a grand mal seizure is called the clonic phase. It usually lasts for less than two minutes. The muscles jerk uncontrollably during the clonic phase. They flex and relax repeatedly. Grand mal seizures happen because of abnormal electrical activity in your brain. The exact cause of the electrical changes is unknown in about half of all cases. Grand mal seizures may be caused by underlying health problems. These include brain tumors, strokes, traumatic head injuries, using or withdrawing from drugs or alcohol. Other causes of grand mal seizures include genetic syndromes, infections such as encephalitis or meningitis, lack of oxygen, problems with blood vessels in the brain. Not everyone who has a seizure will have another one during their life. You may decide to not start treatment until you've had more than one seizure. Anti-seizure medications are used to control seizures. There are many different medications available. Thank you for using Explain.